Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video we're going to look at setting up Mimic Speech on the Raspberry Pi for use with my robot lab. Now I've already done a blog on my robot lab website um, which you can see on the screen here there will be a link in the description to that which is a detailed list of how to set it up now I've already set this up on the Raspberry Pi 3 currently located in Fred's new head so I'm going to set this up on a Raspberry Pi 4 which you can see down here on the bottom right hand corner that's currently powered off so I'm going to power it on as you can see it is running headless that is I've got power going to it this USB dongle in the front here is actually for this um, air mouse slash keyboard I've actually got a video of that being unboxed and I'll put a link to that in as well although I don't think I'll need to use it on this now the Raspberry Pi 4 has provision for two HDMI monitors on it using the two micro uh, HDMI ports in this case I'm not going to connect them and if you attempt to connect to a Raspberry Pi that has no monitor set up on it then you're going to get this window which tells you that there's no let me expand that out if I can. No, wait, let me expand it out. That tells you that there's currently no desktop, which is not going to help us a great deal. So what we can do is we can SSH into the Raspberry Pi, assuming you've previously set it up as I have. Log in. And now we're logged in and all we need to do is execute a command VNC server and it's now going to give us the IP address and the and a port number so it's created a desktop so we go to our VNC connect and we can launch that Oh, wrong button. Try there. And now we have the VNC desktop. Okay, so that's how you connect to one of these headless if you don't have any HDMI monitors connected to it. You've basically got SSH into it first and start the desktop. There is apparently a way of overcoming that limitation. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. When I do, I'll make a video on it. All right, so before we get too far with this, we need to make sure everything is up to date. Um, we're going to be using the sudo command, which is super user do, and the apt get, which is the aptitude package manager, as well as git to clone in the routines we need now in my robot lab there is a service for mimic speech but the mimic speech uh, executables for the raspberry pi are not compiled and not included so we're going to have to put them on ourselves if you're running a windows based system the executables are already included so you don't need to worry about it but for the Raspberry Pi, and I suspect the Mac, I haven't confirmed this, I don't have a Mac, uh, you'll have to install and compile for your own system. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our package manager is up to date. So for that we need a terminal. sudo 
apt get update I'm going to spell it right Okay, now that's done. Just do that. And me. Yes. Upgrade. It's not sure we're running the latest but all the packages we need. There is an update to be done here. Most of it's in the libraries. Okay, so now we've got that done we can start working on getting the rest of it. So we're going to use this command. Paste. And that'll download the source files. Okay, so now that we've got that uh, client, we need to plan it into the appropriate directory, in this case, um, Mimic. So, changing directories is actually quite easy. CD mimic one. Now I've got those in, this should all work. Okay, so now that we've got all of the prerequisites in, the next thing we need to do is make it. Um, this is going to take some time. So, make it. Okay, so now that that's finished uh, making or compiling our program, we need to make sure it's actually um, what it was supposed to do. For that, we make and check. Okay, so now that's uh, been passed, all green passes, that's good. Let's put some speakers in, make sure we've got the right speaker set connected. It should be because I've used this recently for another test. That's better.
to the doctor may continue yesterday, tomorrow. Okay, so that's now working, as you can hear. We can quite literally replace. I use the right button. All of those words with something different if we choose to. All that, I'm just going to copy a little bit of text out of. Right, so for that, I'm going to copy a little bit of text out of uh, the My Robot Lab page. To use a different voice when starting the speech from the fashion in the tribe. Yeah, probably if I had a space in there, I must fix that. To use a different voice when starting the speech from the term in the tribe. So that is working. We can specify different uh, voices when speaking. Hello. And as you can hear, it changes the pitch and type. Okay, so the next part of it's going to be within my robot lab. Now, I have done an install of Manticore on a Raspberry Pi in the past with Fred's Head Part 4. There will be a link in the description for that. So let's see the Gilda MRL. I'm going to use and we can launch my robot lab. So Java, star, my robot lab, star. And this is Manticore version. Uh, before you can use any of the uh, sound generation, like text-to-speech, such as mimic voice within the Java environment, um, check out Fred's Head Part 9. Again, there will be a link in the description where I show how to get Mary to speech working and how to overcome the bug where Java doesn't look for also mixer and so therefore doesn't output any audio. Okay, so we're going to uh, create a bit of Python script. And I actually listed um, all of this on the My Robot Lab site, so you can literally copy all of that. So all we're doing here is Mimic Speech is going to be the name of the service we're using. Run Start Mimic Speech. Um, Mimic speech set, mimic executable. Now, in the case of the Windows machine, it'll be configured by default to go to the Windows executable that is shipped with MRL. Uh, in the ca case of the Raspberry Pi, it's not there. So we have to tell it where to find it. Now, because I use the default uh, installation location, which is Home Pi Mimic 1 Mimic, we put that in the path um, and that way this service knows where to find the executable to get it to create the voice. Uh, I'm also getting it to print down here the list of voices. Once you've done that, you can actually select one of those voices. So it'll enumerate it and then you can select which one. You can set the volume and then you can have it 
uh, speak whatever text using the standard uh, text or speech blocking command as you would have with uh, Mary text. So we'll execute that now. Hello, this is a speech from the Minecraft project. And it actually sounds very good. Now there is a little bit of a gotcha and I'm going to do this as a separate video. The jaw does not operate with the voice on this one. The math control service that I was using on Fred to operate the jaw with Mary's speech requires the use of Mary's speech. So I am working through alternative methods. Uh, there are alternative methods. You can buy a hardware solution that connects to the speaker output. And when it speaks, it drives the servo for the jaw directly. Uh, another method is to have my robot lab actually monitor the audio output, and it is something that's under consideration at my robot lab at the moment. Uh, blog po uh, Grog posted a entry on my robot lab looking at something that could potentially be brought into my robot lab. I hope it does because it will overcome several limitations of the current mouse control routine, including the ability to use any other uh, text-to-speech converter that may not yet be integrated in. The other method of using it is some other hardware to send a signal back to my robot lab through the Raspberry Pi's I.O. So I'm going to be following that path in the next video I do with Fred's head. Uh, to no See when that comes out, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified when I release new videos. If you like this video, please click on the like button. It helps YouTube know that people do like these videos. If you feel that you want to support me further at getting hardware uh, to develop more of these videos, I have a Patreon which will be listed in the description as well. And we will see you in the next video.